A customer hits a curb. On the one side, they manage to hit the wheel, the tire, and also take out the wheel bearing. What should you do about the wheel bearing on the other side? Well, you don't need to replace it. And we're gonna find out why next. This video is sponsored by BCA Bearings, the number one supplier of OE quality hub assemblies. Visit bcabearings.com for more information. You probably know that tires should match side to side and if possible, front to rear on a vehicle. But what about bearings? Bearings, well, they need to be replaced in single units. Why? Because each bearing is a victim of the impact it takes. Okay, here's the situation. One of your customers has managed to hit a curb going around a corner. What has happened is that the rolling elements of the bearing have impacted the outer race, causing a tiny little mark. That tiny little mark adds up to spalling damage down the road. You may notice that you have a flaky, tight metal condition on the outer race once you take it apart. This is caused by these rolling elements going by that little tiny mark over and over and causing more and more damage to the bearing and also the lubrication inside the bearing. Over time, that tiny little mark starts to make noise. Then it starts to have play in that wheel. Also, an ABS code can be set by the ABS system because chances are the wheel speed sensor is part of the bearing itself or the hub unit. So the bearing on the other side of the vehicle, it didn't hit that curve. 